Hello students and hello parents. Welcome back to my channel Fun Learning with Shomita. I hope all of my videos are becoming helpful in your studies and in my videos I am explaining some of the interesting chapters of science and mathematics and I am also showing the study related artworks also. So watch my videos thoroughly and if you are liking my videos then definitely give it a big like and share and subscribe my channel so that I will get inspiration for making more and more dislike helpful videos for you and hit the bell icon so that whatever new videos I am uploading those videos notification will reach to you fastest fast. Today also I bought for you one important chapter of science that is what are minerals. So let's get started. First of all you have to be clear about what are minerals. Solid substances that are present in nature and can be made of one element or more elements combined together. Those are called minerals. Let's see here I wrote some common examples of minerals. Uh, those are generally used and generally we can see in our surroundings calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chlorine, sulfur, iron, manganese, copper, iodine, zinc, cobalt etc. More are there. And uh, actually minerals are naturally occurring inorganic element or compound having an orderly internal structure and characteristics, uh, chemical composition, crystal form and physical properties. It is not man-made, uh, it is naturally made uh, and it has definitely a crystal uh, structure and some uh, fixed physical properties and chemical composition. There are various uses of minerals in our environment. First of all, the minerals are useful for our body, body strength. In our daily life, uh, we should take uh, some useful ingredients, some useful food items rich in minerals. Calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, chlorine, iron, iodine, manganese and so many minerals are useful for our body. You all know that calcium is useful to build up our uh, teeth and uh, iron is very much essential for our uh, blood and uh, you know that in our blood hemoglobin is there and to uh, make the blood healthy and um, uh, to grow more and more uh, uh, number of hemoglobin iron is uh, necessary iron is essential iodine is also necess necessary for our body and uh, this like so many minerals are useful and iron have multi-purpose uses as steel it is used for uh, making the buildings the bridges and uh, for making so many vehicles also and uh, aluminium is used for aircraft and copper is very very essential for electrical appliances you all know that electrical wires are made up of coppers copper wire are very good uh, conductor of electricity and silver gold this like minerals are used for making ornaments this like uh, more are there and so many uses uh, are there uh, for the minerals in our surroundings different kinds of minerals are present in different forms uh, in our surroundings uh, in so many products uh, we are using daily uh, suppose first of all the most popular uh, form of mineral is table salt or salt that is uh, uh, we will call it halide and um, it is sodium chloride basically and uh, in baking powder baking soda detergent powder these all we are using daily and then uh, these all products in some forms uh, minerals are present in baking powder uh, in the form of sodium bicarbonate and calcium acid phosphate and baking soda sodium bicarbonate uh, and uh, in detergent powder sodium silicate uh, mixed with the other uh, minerals uh, uh, the minerals are present in our environment and this like so many products are there uh, rich in minerals this is a well-known minerals used in our daily life. 
without this we can't cook anything we can't eat anything i know you guessed correct this is table salt or normal salt and the chemical name of this is sodium chloride and let's see how we can make a beautiful artwork or project using this table salt can you guess what is this yes you guessed correct this is a model of igloo you know that in north pole and south pole and icelands the people the eskimos the inuits they makes a houses made up of ice and that is igloo and here i made a model a beautiful model of igloo and here i used one commonly uh, available ingredients that is salt salt is a main ingredients and in my next video i will describe how i made this beautiful model till now i am ending my today's video let's meet in my next video bye students and bye parents